Good evening and you're very welcome to On The Ball on W Lords. Myself, Gavin Whelan, with you between now and 7 this evening. Very shortly, uh, reflections on round three in the County Senior Hurling Championship as the quarterfinal lineup is complete. Valley Gunner will take on Four Mile Water. Abbeyside and Dungarvan meet in a local derby. It'll be Passage against Mount Sign and Rhone Moore taking on Lismore for fascinating duels in store next weekend. Tyrone are the All-Ireland Senior Football Champions. Padraig Hampsey lifting the Sam Maguire Cup for the fourth time in their history. We'll reflect on it all in the company of former Waterford manager Niall Carew. We look back at the weekend's Premier League action. Cristiano Ronaldo back at Old Trafford and back with a bat as well and we'll also look back at the other top sporting stories from the weekend that's it and there's you know that's all that's playing back here morning there for the last two minutes we just to be honest we were a bit more confident tonight and um, we were happy enough we closed it out but as I said look what, we're, what good is it to us if we're playing to meet the hurling next year so we'll have to see you now who we get tomorrow and head down for two weeks and hopefully we have another crack at this again next year yeah, very good evening to you uh, once again, Monday the uh, 13th of September, and you're very welcome along into another busy uh, programme. Well, the uh, quarterfinal lineup is complete. It's a knockout hurling from here on in in the JJ Cavan and Sons County Senior Hurling Championship. We will bring you those quarterfinal fixture details and indeed the relegation uh, battles as well in due course. But uh, we are going to start by reflecting on the round three action over the course of the weekend. And that was uh, Kieran Bennett, you heard in that uh, intro clip there, speaking after Saturday, Saturday night's heroic performance and what a win for Bally Saggart who claimed their first senior championship win in their 136 year history under the Farfield floodlights on Saturday evening injury time points by Kieran and Kyle Bennett sealed a 122 to 120 victory over local rivals and near neighbours Liz Moore all-star forward Stephen Bennett led the way there for Saggart with 1-9 while Ronan Welch hit three points Morris Shanahan once again the go-to guy in the Liz Moore attack Liz Moore were already assured of a place in the quarterfinals but we're going to take some post-match reaction now from Saturday night and after the full-time whistle I spoke to Bally Saggart manager a very happy Adrian Bobo Maher Yeah it's un- unbelievable look look local derby look we, we, we've served respect for the, the, the Liz Moore GA club it was going to be a serious battle we knew to go down to the wire look I suppose the last two matches we were on the wrong end of it look tonight we came out in the right end of it you must have a bit of luck and look I'm delighted for the lads because they've been brilliant all year training and they, they've done everything we asked them so look it's great to get a win look I know we're on relegation but look it was a great game for us going into it and look whoever we get we're going to give it everything we, we, we want to stay up and we think we're good enough to stay up and to be great to get another year I think we'd improve you know, and we'd be better again a Mammoth effort all over the field I think he had nine different scores as well tonight Adrian Testament to, to the work rate all over the field as well and as you say that look that maybe eluded you the last two weekends I suppose he had that tonight Oh, without a doubt, yeah, yeah, things are right, and you know, you'll win nothing without luck. Look, and um, look, I'd like to wish Liz Moore the very best luck on in the quarter final going forward. They're, they're a fine side, and um, hopefully, they, they, they can go on and, and, and do better things. And um, look, we have to look at the, the relegation side of it now. And look, we're looking forward to the draw tomorrow night. And whoever we get, look, we'll prepare as best we can. And we'll have a right cut off from there. I think it's two weeks' time, I think. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we'll get the lads back training now Tuesday night, and we'll get them firm the ground feet down the ground and walk walk hard again for the next two weeks yeah I suppose that goal from Stephen Bennett I suppose really kind of reignited you and great to see uh, such a big crowd back as well tonight it kind of lifted you and you drove it on really kind of from that it kind of brought you really back into the game didn't it oh it did yeah and we needed it because they were gone four points up you know so we needed it yeah and um, yeah the crowd was crowd brilliant from both sides it was very exciting it's brilliant to have, have a crowd at a match and look, it's, look it's, I imagine standing in the line is hard to hard to judge the game but I'd say they, look most people enjoyed the match it was, it was a good good tit for tat up and down the field and uh, a bit of spite in the times which should that's holding and you must have that but look hopefully you now we can the main thing now is, is to stay up that's our, our, our main thing now is to stay playing senior Holland yeah yeah absolutely final point as well of course you had to draw us on that tomorrow and uh, you know just after chatting to Kieran Bennett as well it would mean so much for you to, to retain that top flight status and as you say maybe you know develop even further then going into next year um. yeah I think oh it's vital that we stay up yeah like um, look we were beaten by 23 points in the two matches so 33 sorry in the, in the two matches last year we covered look I suppose we were a bit naive we didn't do when when we were supposed to stop we stopped and I suppose the most teams kept going but look we knew there were no relegation so look we said we'd take a chance for this year we were better prepared and we said we'd right cut off and look and there's a savage improvement in the team it's to get to the pace of the, of the senior Holland is our big thing and we're gradually getting there you know unfortunately look we could have got results out of the last two games we could have been there but we're not and we have to 
taking on the chin now and 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 and, and get into this relegation match and and, and see can we stay up is vital for us to stay up. We've, we've a couple of good young fellas coming and and um we we believe we can stay up for another year that we we we, we can get stronger Yeah, very uh, proud Adrian Maher, the uh, Valley Saggart manager. Uh, thanks uh, to him for that chat at full time in Farrar Field on Saturday night. Uh, they certainly were in no rush uh, leaving after that victory. But uh, as mentioned there, they are still involved in the relegation playoffs and those draws were made as well yesterday after the action, the Mount St. Garvin game in Welch Park. The relegation uh, battles then. Bally Saggart will face a tough one. They'll face De La Salle. While the other tie there will see Bally Duff Upper take on Clonay 2 intriguing battles in store those relegation ties will be played the weekend after next uh, not next weekend but the weekend after so they have a uh, two week break ahead of those massive games and of course two teams being relegated in the Senior Hurling Championship this season staying with Saturday's action and on Saturday afternoon in Fraher Field Jamie Byrne put in a real tour de force he scored seven points as four mile water sealed their place in the quarterfinals they secured victory over a gallant tallow by 19 points to 113 and after the game our own Tomas McCarthy caught up with a pretty happy but yet relieved formal manager Michael Ryan well I suppose the initial reaction is one of relief you know because there was a stage in that game we went two points down with, with seven or eight minutes to go and the game was really in the melting pot but in fairness a couple of our players really stepped up today I mean Jamie Bannon in the last quarter was outstanding he got three or four great points and even even the lesser known players like Jake Mulkey was outstanding at cornerback uh, you know so I suppose it's great to win the game it's, it's certainly a character building exercise but yeah, there's a lot, lot to learn from it as well there, was, there were stages in the first half you know we had chances and we didn't take them and we shouldn't have been in the position we were in so we get to a quarter final if we allow that to happen again we will be punished but overall great to win delighted with the lads kept at it they've worked hard all year and played some good hurling as well but I think if we can tidy up the, the, the things we didn't get right today and, and, and push on another 10% you know we, we'll, we'll have a decent team for the quarterfinals Was well, Jamie Barron the difference between the two sides Michael he got 7 from play I think 4 in, in the last 10 minutes when the game was really in the melting pot well, sure, Jamie's been doing this for years and like you know sometimes when he goes playing at club level people expect him to win the match on his own you can't win the match on your own but he, there's no question about it he was the deciding factor in the closing stages of the game along with the fact that I thought a lot of our players did step up a little bit as well but I mean you can't argue with that tally from play incredible tally and a great player and you know he's, he's such a key figure for us I think you 13 wides in total Michael you 12 up to the second water break plenty of room for improvement for the quarterfinals next week and it isn't as if we haven't done any shooting practice we've done a load of shooting practice maybe we need, we need to use reverse psychology to stop doing shooting practice but yeah you need to tidy up those wides usually when you hit that many wides you don't win games but look really delighted to be in, to be in the quarterfinal looking forward to the draw yeah Michael Ryan there in conversation with uh, Tomás hard earned victory about a victory nonetheless for Formal Water who are back in the last eight elsewhere on Saturday goals from Thomas Connors and Mark Fitzgerald saw passage defeat Clane by 315 to 115 in Welsh Park Passage topping that particular group Clane heading for the relegation playoff playoffs even excuse me on then to yesterday's action where Abbeyside scored a facile win over Ballyduff Upper in Fraher Field to seal their place in the quarterfinals Abbeyside 321 Ballyduff Upper 9 points the final score first half goals there from Richie Foley John Elstead and Michael Kiley who was in fine form for the Villagers saw them have a comprehensive lead at halftime 311 to 6 points and they really drove things home in the second half a difficult afternoon for Ballyduff Upper who'll head for the relegation playoffs they will take on Clane in a fortnight's time after yesterday's action in Fraher Tomas McCarthy spoke with Abbeyside defender Conor Prunty Yeah Tomas look we were just looking to get a win and get into the kind of quarter final stages and I suppose get into the draw later is the main aim Did you feel like you kind of stepped it up in the second quarter belly off kind of through everything that you there early on They did and look belly off always give a fight we always struggle a and uh, look, I think we made a lot of basic errors that put us under pressure at times as well. So we've a lot to work on next week. It must be very encouraging to see the form of Michael Coyley inside. He got one three from play in that first half before he came off. Yeah, look, again, Michael d- delivers when we, when we give him the ball. And Fairnsham, again, today did what he needed to do. And that's his job. But there's a lot of, a lot of fellas doing a lot of good jobs out the field to get, him, get the ball into him. And again, I suppose he'd be, he'd be challenged again next week. What has been the impact of Kieran Fergie Murphy in, in the backroom team? Connor this year since he's arrived in Abbeyside? Yeah, look, he's very positive. I've only, we've only had two weeks hurling now, so I can't comment on really what went on before when we were training with Warford, but yeah, very positive, um, good training, good intensity to train, so it's very enjoyable. We are WLR. We are Ireland's local station of the year.
Yeah, Conor Prunty after uh, yesterday's win over Ballyduff Upper. Thanks, uh, Tomas, for those few bits as well and for all the coverage across the uh, weekend. Staying with the Senior Hurling Championship in the final game of the weekend took place in Welsh Park yesterday. Dungarvan topping that particular group. 11 points there for Patrick Kern and 5 from his brother Cullum. Saw the Old Borough defeat Mount Sign by 127 to 24 points. Michael Kiley's shot crept under Eno Regan in first half injury time to give the Blues a 113 to 10 points advantage at the break. Super sub Gavin Crotty scored four second half points there for Dungarvan who've looked really impressive in their two games. To date the quarterfinal fixtures have been made and we'll give them to you there now just in case you didn't get them earlier on. It all gets underway on Saturday afternoon with defending champions Bally Gunner who continue their bid for eight county titles in a row. They will take on Formal Water in Fraher Field at 2 o'clock in Welsh Park on Saturday. It's an all-eastern affair at 4.30pm as Passage and Mount Sign go head to head that's a repeat of last year's semi, of course, where the Reds came out on top. It's back to Farfield Saturday evening under the floodlights. It's a 7.30 throw-in for the clash of Lismore and Roanmore. And then on Sunday afternoon, it's the big one. It's a local derby in Farfield at 2 o'clock as Dungarvan and Abbeyside will do battle for a place in the semi-finals. The relegation battles then will take place the following weekend. Uh, not this weekend, coming the following weekend. The ties there once again. Bally Sagert will face De La Salle, while Bally Duff Upper will take on Clonay. As soon as we get the details for those, we will keep you bang up to speed but uh, some intriguing battles there plenty of build up uh, to those games right across the week here in W Lore and with Tomas on our Lorna Porca GA show on Friday and on the Saturday edition well, with uh, Nigel on, on the ball so looking forward to four intriguing battles and we'll have extensive coverage across the weekend as well on those games here on W Lore Knockout Hurling in the Waterford Senior Hurling Championship and looking forward to some great action over the weekend we're back after the break where we'll reflect on the All-Ireland Senior Football Final more heartbreak for Mayo a fourth All-Ireland title for Tyrone as Patrick Hampsey lifts the Sam Maguire Cup <laughs> 